So now we let's in the last video we discuss about how to create a simple report using our report studio. So now we will add few things. So as you see here, um, you can sort the data. So for example, if you choose this column and and then your different items will be highlighted here. So this is called sorting. So here you can do sort uh, descending. Uh, so then once you do that, you'll have a little icon here which shows down arrow. So if you choose, uh, so this is descending. If you choose uh, ascending, then you'll get an up arrow. So now if you run the report, you will see its uh, sales amount was sorted ascending order. Then you can add something called an aggregation. So here you can define a uh, field so let's choose uh, let's give it a name of a report test report and you can uh, so here you'd see there are different uh, there are different icons so the other thing is uh, you can see here there are a uh, few tabs. So let me introduce you to this. So one is the pages, page explorer. What that means is this is like a page design. So page design meaning if you click on here, what you see here is the page designs. So let's click here. So you will see this is our called our page design, which is this one. Now in some report you can have a prompt. So you can create a prompt pages and we'll cover that. Uh, so if you click on here, you'll see a, a way you can define a prompts. Um, so again, let's get there. And then this is our query. So query behind the report. So here, these are the columns available. Now, sometimes you may have a column name which is not visible in the report. So you can have something called something, some sort of a um, hidden parameter which you see on the websites you know where uh, you can have a hidden value in a in a you know web form but it may not show so something like that so for for example in this particular report we don't have uh, that uh, and then this one is a, uh, again a query sorry so let's get back to the page design which is our main focus um, so let's try to add a total so let's see if we can add um, So here we have added a total. And then let's try to add a prompt pages. Uh, okay, before we do that, let's add some design elements. So here you'd see uh, there are three icons. One is the uh, source, which basically sh show all the items from your um, model. Then there is query. So this shows all the items from your, on the query. Now here, if you if you have a item which doesn't show in the report, you can still see it. And then there is something called insertable objects. Means if you want to add some more stuff. So for example, let's say we want to create a want to create a space uh, underneath the uh, or maybe on the on the okay maybe underneath the report. Okay, so here you have a space. And then let's say if you want to create a text box, so you can create a text box. So here. say my report so you added a report then you can create a, for example a, a query calculation so let's say you want to um, create another field with the name of an agent and a region name just for the you know sake of experimentation so you can um, created me this is called calculated member so you can drag this one and you can create a calculated member okay we have to drag it a little differently okay so let's do it maybe in here 
Okay, so sorry, I think we cannot add it this here. This is in a list report. But anyway, let's run this report and we'll see how it goes. So let's run the report. So here we have our test report, and as you see the footer, and we have added a total. So let's go back again. Um, Okay, so let's uh, try to play with some more elements. So now we are will we will show you how to create a query uh, calculation. So for example, let's say if you have a field here, sales amount, and you want to calculate uh, the commission amount uh, for the sales agent based on the sales amount, and let's say 15% uh, is the commission. So this is uh, in in that particular case, you will use something called a query calculations. So here you add a column and then you call it sales commission and then you say okay and then say so as you see here a few uh, options so always choose the query so this gives you again entire model this shows query which shows you the query field and then you want to select on the sales amount. So the fact that if you see sales amount has an aggregation because it is the aggregated column. Uh, so you do double click that. When you double click, you get it here. And then you say 0.15. Now here, uh, if you click on there, Cognos has, Cognos has different functions available. So you can use, uh, you can, depending on, uh, your needs so let's for example you know here you have plus so let's say we want to use the plus function so you get a plus here so when you double click here you get a plus there let's say we want to add a plus maybe ten dollars the commission and then after that you want to validate your expression so it says no errors so then you hit okay so here you have your sales commission uh, then let's say if you want to add a, uh, you are, if you want to add a chart, then you can also add a chart. So let's say we want to add a chart here, and then you have to drag it to okay. I think so. You, uh, you may want to just take a simple chart, but this one. And then do OK. And you have to now, when you create a chart, you have to associate also a query item with it. So that's the first thing of creating a chart. So for example, when you create a chart, if you go to the query, you'll see query 1, query 2. So by default, Cognos creates another query and a blank query when you create a, when you drop a chart in your page, this thing. But we don't want to create a new query for the chart. We want to associate the um, the chart with the already existing query. So for that, you click on the chart. So you get this chart properties here. And then you associate the query to query 1. So once you do that, then you can save it. And you can call this. Uh, as you see, this is a test one, is our package, and you can say cells report one. So you save it. And now, once you save it, then I recommend. Um, so, so now we have got a blank chart. Now we have to define the. Uh, you have to drag and drop the fields. So. For example, you can get click on the query item and then uh, for let's say for sales amount should be here, default measure on the y axis and maybe the name of the or maybe you can do the region name which is the name one, you can drag on x axis. Okay, so this is our and then let's run the report. 
So as you see our report here, uh, we have a commission which is 15% uh, of the sales amount. And then we have a nice chart here uh, where we have Northeast uh, and Southeast. Okay. So in this uh, video, we learned how to create a simple report and how to add charts and how to uh, play add different uh, calculated fields in the report. In the next video, we'll take some more advanced topics.